I can still remember my childhood here. Over the years, this neighborhood has been the Alice Island of the West Coast. It's always been multicultural, it's always been tolerant, it's always been inviting, it's always been one community. And I, you know, it makes, it makes you proud of the fact that you grew up in a society that was really what the world should be. People from all different places, and you're bound there, and even though you may have differences, there was one thing that tied us together. We were from Boyle Heights. <laughs> It's your land. Boyle Heights is, I think, very different in that at its very beginning, it was multiracial. Lots of people couldn't live anywhere they wanted to. And Boyle Heights was one place in which they were all welcome. It was really a mixed neighborhood and a wonderful neighborhood. I didn't know any better. I thought that was normal. <laughs> Boyle Heights, unfortunately, they end up, after 20 years of freeway construction with five major freeways. I lived with my uncle and my aunt. That house was taken because of a freeway coming through. They moved to another place, and a few years later, that house was taken. This is the start of a new chapter in Boyle Heights history. It's working class, it's multiracial, and it's where leftists are. When we know of anyone serving the communist cause, we let the agency know. I remember when we were very young around the socialist youth group. The fear of what they could do to you is just unbelievable. Yeah, we were trying to change the world. Something like 35 of the top 50 metropolitan uh, cities right now have a majority Latino black population. So for almost every place in the country that is urban, this is a reality of a situation that they're trying to kind of deal with, particularly as new immigration sort of comes in and, and communities get more mixed. A lot of people look at these kinds of histories, and particularly Boyle Heights history, as a kind of window into what might be in the future for a lot of cities. Just imagine 50 years from now, how it's going to be different here. It might be not even Latino people or not even mexican Americans. might be somebody else. So who knows who will come over and take over then next time. We were all family. One neighborhood, one city. by the very word. <laughs>